What's going on everybody? Staff Sergeant Michael Eckert here. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to do more pull-up reps in the simplest way possible. Let's get right into it. All right, so the first thing I want to do is break down the pull-up into three categories. Okay, keep it really simple. That first category is going to be your forearms and your grip strength. That's category one. The next category is going to be your biceps. And the last category is going to be your back and lat muscles. So those three categories are like the primary movers when it comes to doing a pull-up. Your core is involved a little bit, but don't worry about your core for now. This is how to increase reps with those three muscle groups. What you're going to be doing with those muscle groups is creating little mini circuits with pull-ups to help improve not only the physical aspect of the pull-up, but also the mental aspect. Because when improving in anything, you not only have to get stronger physically, but you have to get stronger mentally and make the pull-ups feel easier. That way you can do more reps. That's how I've been doing it. That's why I can do a lot of cool stuff on the bar. It's because everything just feels so easy. And I've taught my brain to realize, hey, it's not that hard. And I'm gonna show you how to break those into different circuits that you can do to help improve your reps. All right, so what I have here today is two dumbbells. <laughs> and a pull-up bar, and a lot of pull-up bars, but it's simple, all right? It's just, we're just gonna be using the dumbbells and the pull-up bar. These dumbbells are 15 pounds, they're semi-light, uh, mostly for demonstration purpose, but if you have access to, to more weight and more uh, different styles of weight as well, use those, but today I'm just gonna keep it simple with 15 pounds. All right, so the concept is gonna be simple. It's gonna be eliminate one of those three muscle groups before doing the pull-up, all right? So when I do a pull-up, I'll jump onto the bar, and I'll do reps. And as I'm doing that, those three muscle groups are activated. My forearms, my biceps, my grip strength, and my lats, right? So what we want to do is we want to eliminate one of those from the equation. And for me, the easiest one to eliminate is the biceps. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you an example of what I'm talking about. I'm going to take some dumbbells, and we know my biceps are being used when I do a pull-up. I'm going to curl this weight and try my best to isolate the biceps, right? I'm gonna curl, curl, curl. So my back isn't being used, my forearms are being minimally used, but my biceps are really being stressed right now. I'm gonna aim for 20 reps, and then I'll put them down, and then I'm gonna do some pull-ups. So right now, my back and my forearms are overcompensating and working harder to make it so I can do pull-ups because now my biceps are out of the picture. They're eliminated. And we've just fatigued them by doing those curls. So now everything, like I was saying when I was doing it, is working in overdrive. My, my lats, my forearms, let's keep it simple, those two muscle groups. When you eliminate one, the other two have to make up for the slack and the ones that you've eliminated. And it makes the entire pull-up, makes the work harder, right? And those pull-ups are gonna feel way harder when you do that. And that's the point. It's not only the physical, it's the mental. So when the pull-ups and the reps, you can do this with negatives as well and I'll show an example of a negative if you don't know what that is. But when doing pull-ups, if it feels really hard after you're doing this method, that's a good thing. Because the next time you get on the bar, when your biceps are healed and your lats and forearms are healed from this method, everything's gonna be working together. And those hard reps are gonna feel much easier. So you're gonna be physically stronger, but you're also gonna be mentally stronger because oh, the reps feel easier and I can do more. There is a correlation between physical and mental strength. And that's just the simple way of doing it. Eliminate one of those three muscle groups. I would always tend to eliminate either the back muscles or the biceps, because if you do such a harsh grip strength workout, you won't be able to hold onto the bar and you won't be able to do that many reps. But with those three muscle groups, it works the same way. And the nice part about grip strength is at the end of your workout, like if, you're, if you did a bunch of sets of this, I would recommend doing four sets at 20 reps of whatever exercise you're doing, and then as many pull-ups as you can do in that set as well, maybe like 80%. So if I could do, uh, let's say if I could do 20 pull-ups, i do this, and I, I can still do 20 pull-ups at the end, I'll do 15. That's where I'll aim, 75%. The nice part about after you're done with all of that and the workout, you can still work out your forearms most of the time, if you haven't done like a crazy heavy set. And all you have to do for that, one of my favorite exercises, is just taking heavy dumbbells 
it's either standing here, call it farmer's hold, we call it a heavy dumbbell hold, or a farmer's walk, which is basically just going for a walk. And the nice part about doing this, where you walk around with it, is every time I take a step, it stresses one side and it kind of balances your body and it, it just, it works the muscle groups a lot better. And it kind of takes your mind off of holding really heavy weight, uh, which makes you be able to hold it longer. So that's, that's my favorite uh, grip strength exercise you can even hang on the bar if you don't have dumbbells you can hang on the bar as long as you can just dead hang until failure and then that'll work out your grip strength as well but dead hangs feel terrible whenever you the difference between doing that and a dead hang is your hands are above you so your heart is having much harder of a time to pump blood to your hands when your hands are down here you're they're below your heart and then your, your circulation works a lot better when things are you know and more neutral and not over your head the way I would work out my lats, so that's that first way, do bicep curls. You, any way you can do biceps, you can do isolations too. Isolation is just holding the weight in place for a set amount of time. Remember, it's all about that time under tension. But for lats, anything to do with lats, which is just bent over row, and you're trying to isolate just the back muscles pulling. And I would try to pick a number and just stick with that number. I always aim for 20, 20 reps of the isolated exercise and then 75% of what I can, what I think I can manage on pull-ups. And sometimes I'll lift such heavy weight and I'll eliminate those muscle groups so well, which is a good thing, but you do want to avoid in injury as well because when you're under that fatigue state uh, and things are overcompensating, your body's not working the same way it would if it was fresh, so it's easier to get injured. So just be mindful of that. Um, I'll actually hop on the bar and do negatives. And like I said, I'll sh I would have showed you an example of what a negative is. A negative is just starting on some sort of platform. You can even jump if you want to. And then taking out the concentric portion and just working on the eccentric. So eccentric is just lowering down. So starting up here, lower down nice and consistently. And when you do that, I want you to focus on the consistent top to bottom. That whole range of motion needs to be the same speed the entire time. Because what I see a lot of people doing is they're really strong with their chin above the bar. And then when they, as soon as they get right here, they'll drop to here and then keep doing that. You want to keep it consistent and slow the entire time. That your way you're working at the full range of that muscle and you're hitting all the weak spots. That's why negatives work so well because you're working out, you're like getting all the kinks out of all your muscles. You're hitting all the weak spots and uh, you're smoothing it all out. But yeah, that's, that's the simple way of doing more reps. It's just eliminating that one muscle group of those three. You can do core exercises and whatever else to add a little bit extra into this training. But keep it simple, those three muscle groups, eliminate one of them, do your pull-up reps or do your negatives, and then keep doing that, four cycles of that, a few days a week. And then when you're feeling fresh again, I would say after like the second week of doing it, when you're feeling fresh and everything's working together and nice and repaired, your body, so your biceps are gonna be like, let's say they're, they've hit, been hit twice because they're still gonna be worked out when you're doing pull-ups, you still gotta move. Now you've hit those twice, so when those recover, they're not gonna be twice as strong, but they're gonna be way stronger, and they're gonna be complementing with everything else that was fatigued while you're doing it. It's just gonna work way better, pull-ups are gonna feel way easier, and uh, that's just a simple way I've taught hundreds of Marines how to do more reps. And uh, by the way, tip with females, um, grip strength, those farmers carry. That is the number one limiting factor when it comes to uh, pull-ups, or females not being able to do pull-ups. I've just noticed it across the board. It's just, that's the thing that sticks out. A, a lot of females struggle with grip strength and uh, one of the easiest things you do is just pick up heavy things and hold on to them, right? It's about carrying the groceries and stuff. But uh, the last thing is when you jump and you're gonna do your reps, this is just a, a pro tip at the end. Uh, when you wanna do your reps of pull-ups, grip the bar hard. And, and what I mean by that is don't try to hang there and just kind of lazily do the rep. Grip the bar really hard because you have a lot of muscles in your forearms that contract onto your bone and keep your bone in the right alignment in order for the rest of your kinetic chain to work. So when I grab onto the bar, I'm squeezing, right? I'm squeezing and that allows my forearms to be in the set position that they 
are designed to be in, genetically designed to be in, and it makes everything below the pulling motion work properly, and that just helps your form out in the long run. And uh, yeah, I, I mean, I made a video a long time ago, ago about uh, how to increase your reps with five five easy tips and those that was specifically for a test like for military people that have less left their training to the last minute and they want to squeak in like one or two more reps you sacrifice a lot of your form and your training because of that but you know how the marine corps works sometimes people leave things to the last minute and that's all that video is for um this this is about consistent uh really good form reps uh, and just take time with proper isolation of the muscle groups and uh yeah that's all i got if y'all like this video you know what to do thanks so much for coming by and checking this out